Good afternoon, or welcome to the Inspiring Inkin Facebook page. I'm Amanda Fowler. Today is Thursday the 6th of May. Just checking. Yeah, Thursday the 6th of May 2021. Today is Annual Catalogue Launch Part 3. So there's a three-part series. I did part one on Tuesday, part two yesterday, and this is the third and final part for this week. Um, that little bating was to tell me that I've gone live. <laughs> so I do need <laughs> to turn my sound down and um, just check that I am live where I should be. So if you are here, could you say hello? Um, let me know. I've, <clears throat> I can see, let me see if we've got the stream metrics going. Um, we seem to be a bit wonky again today, but I will get it lined up eventually. Um, so who is here? Let's have a look. So Sue's here, Scylla's here. Hello, hello. Chris and Angela and Jen and Judith and Margaret and Lucia and Zena and Jan and Deborah. Alberta is in the house. And Donna, wet Oz. Yeah, it's actually stopped raining here today. Um, hang on, I, I, this is really annoying me that we are still wonky. So I'm just seeing if I can tweak it. Oh well, it'll, it'll be what it'll be. I don't know, I don't know why, because I don't move it from one day to the next day. I don't touch it, so I don't understand <laughs> or why it's straight on one day and um, pixies, gremlins, who knows. So I am really, really hoping that everything goes to plan today. Um, yesterday we had a, a technical difficulty and I had to restart. Um, and if you're watching this on the replay, and on my blog, I'm, I'm going to apologise now. The first blog post from Tuesday hasn't gone up yet. <laughs> and it's now Thursday. It's been a bit of a cracker's week. Um, and I'm, yeah, I don't know. I'm just kind of juggling too many things, I think, at the moment. So um, the blog post will get up there eventually. Um, so if you are waiting patiently, then thank you for your patience um yeah so there you go so the first thing is i want to show you what i did with that puffing card yesterday i tried it with real red that was kind of the consensus of opinion yesterday but i went with pumpkin pie so i just i tried it and tried it and it it seemed to all be fine so i think this is is working working well okay so that was that um so what else did i have to tell you today um have i <laughs> this is a question have i told you about the palm tree in my garden and I'm not sure that I have or I haven't. So I live in the south coast of England and we have a palm tree in our garden. And it was here when we moved in 15 years ago. And I don't like it because it makes no sense to me. It doesn't belong in an English garden. It just doesn't. But it's a tree and therefore as far as <laughs> as far as Brian's concerned it has to stay because trees are important and I get that but you know it's just not my favorite thing in the world but last year we had a pair of pigeons wood pigeons 
trying to nest in the palm tree. And it was the most ridiculous comedy of errors you have ever seen. The amount of times the pair of them fell out of that nest, the nest fell out, they kept trying to get twigs in that they couldn't, oh, it was just a disaster. Eventually, they learnt their lesson and went elsewhere. Well, they're back. <laughs> and I've just spent half an hour eating my lunch watching these pigeons. <laughs> it's so funny. That was a pigeon with a twig. That must have been this big. It must have been two foot long. And pigeons are not big <laughs> and he's trying to get into the tree with all the leaves and everything else oh my word I just feel sorry for them because <laughs> they just got no idea I just oh uh, anyway so if anyone's got a manual for pigeons of how to build a nest and where to build a nest then send it to me and I'll you know spend some time and read it to them because oh it is just madness it's madness but that and all of the birds in the garden currently it's crazy we're putting out so much food at the moment um we've got the sort of uh, in and around us we've there's nesting starlings there's blackbirds there's sparrows there's robins there's all the pigeons and we've got wood pigeons and what I call town pigeons I don't know I don't know what they what their real name is but you know the ones that are sort of blue and purpley colors um and there's a few great tits and a few blue tits around as well but yeah they're just so hungry and the starlings it's just really lovely I love I love looking at the starlings actually because they've got really really beautiful coats too so there we go so anyway, that's kind of my diversion with the whole blooming palm tree pigeon thing is going on. So let's have a look. Hi, Janet. She's saying hello to all her crafty friends. Pigeon brains. Yes. I think, I think Zaina, that is exactly what they are. And Chris says <laughs> she has her siblings there. One couldn't balance on the wall the other day. I know. And they are just so weird. I mean, when he tried to get in to the tree with this stick in his mouth, it just reminded me of, of um, my last dog. So not Kiva, um, who you've, you've heard me talk about a lot. But um, my first dog was uh, called Scarlet and she was a Border Terrier Jack Russell Cross and um, she was actually a wedding present from Brian. He, he bought her for me just after we got married and she liked sticks and she would grab the biggest stick that she could find and then try and get through a gate. And she could never, never understand that you have to go sideways with the stick because she would just run at the gate and and she'd end up stopping because the stick was in her mouth. So pigeons aren't, <laughs> yeah, lots of people with lots of stupid pigeons. They are hilarious, exactly. You don't need the telly, just sit and watch. <laughs> sit and watch the birds. <laughs> Make sure you feed them too. So there we go. That's my public service announcement today. Okay, so um, I've got some more projects to show you today. Um, I couldn't resist this set. Um, if you want to, if you want to play along, it's on page seventy-eight. It's called Flowers of Friendship. Um, it's this stamp set here, and the reason it was absolutely on my list is because it's got a matching punch and if you're gonna have a stamp set having a matching punch for me is just always always a winner um, and especially um, something like this this is really useful you'll see it's got two leaves 
and two flowers. I'm going to show you different ways of using the stamps and the punch as well. Um, but as much as I love to die cut, um, and, and you know, because you'll be seeing lots of die cut stuff today, I do love to die cut. I also love to be able to punch because it's faster. Um, and I can get dimension and so on. So, you know, my big shot's always out. My big shot, that's a blast from the past. My stamping, cut and emboss machine, <laughs> because now I have one of those, not a big shot. My die cutting machine is there for die cutting all the time. But sometimes, like I say, I just want to, just want to punch stuff. So there you go. So lots more. Jan's got stupid pigeons. Stella's here from Texas. Hello, Stella. Um, Rods has got pigeons and squirrels causing chaos. <laughs> and Jenny's got a snoring cavalier lying on the bed. Bless. Actually, talking about squirrels, Ross, I just saw um, on Facebook, I mean, sort of some of the local groups um and it's just really useful for things i don't know like on tuesday somebody said oh the water board the water's going off on, in these particular areas it's just kind of like a public information thing and this lady had put that she had scuffling noises in her roof but she didn't have a loft ladder and she wondered what it could be. And it'd been going on for weeks. And it's like, oh my goodness, how could you listen to scuffling noises above your head for weeks and not investigate what it is? Um, hopefully it's just nesting birds <laughs> or a squirrel. Let's hope it's not a mouse or a rat. They're just not good, are they? But yeah. Oh, I couldn't cope with that. I would I would have to be up there somehow or another with a torch investigating. Oh dear. Right. So yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't want I don't want scrubbly noises in my in my roof okay right so let me turn the camera around it's a tree rat yeah you see that's what brian calls the um town pigeons flying rats so Oh, so Anne says she has starlings nesting in the roof. Extremely noisy babies. Yeah, because they'll they get up early, don't they? Oh, Jenny. Jenny says at least in the UK we don't get pythons in the roof like other places in Australia. Um ooh. That would be that would be dodgy. That would be dodgy. Um, in our previous house, the, before we moved here, the people that lived in the house had snakes and they had a big aquarium. And when we went to see when we went to see the house, um, I was sort of freaking out with all these snakes. And I don't mind snakes. But, you know, I don't really want them in my house. And um, the the teenager that was there said, yes, she said, she said um, they're, they're all contained now. But we did lose a couple about three or four years ago. We don't know where they went. And it's like, are they living in the basement? That's really worrying. So there we go right okay so we've got several people who are saying it's stuttering and you're missing half of what's being said janice is having problem with the reception as it keeps freezing and janet's having problems as well 
my the the streaming that i'm looking at is all looking fine and steady it dipped about four or five minutes ago but other than that it's just staying steady so i don't know sometimes it can be steady for me but actually by the time it gets into facebook and out to you guys i'm sorry um, but I've also got quite a few people saying that it's okay for them. So I'm just going to keep going. Do try and go out and come back in again to Facebook. Um, and also something that I have learned as well, is if you're using a tablet particularly, make sure that you've closed out all your other windows. So on, a, on an iPad, you swipe up because sometimes you've got so many windows open and it's trying to refresh all of those, it actually slows down the video. I hope that helps. Okay, I'm gonna turn around and uh, get, get on with a bit of crafting. Let's cover you over again and try not to make too many crackly noises. Let's see. Some grid paper out. There are no possums either, says Chris. That is good. I think no possums. Right. Right, okay, so Marion's using the PC instead of the iPad, yeah, so I don't know, don't know what, what is, what is going on. So, this is the stamp set, and this is the punch. So, the punch punches out these two flowers, and these two leaves. You've got really nice sentiments here. Little card, big thanks. I really like that one. I think I'm going to be using that quite a bit. And thank you for everything. Um, and then this is this little border stamp here. This is going to be really, really useful. Um, just to add a little bit of interest. So we are going to play with the big stamp first. And there's a surprise. I've got pale papaya out and a scalloped shape. So this is the colour and contour um, dies again that I've been using a lot. And what I've done is I've cut a piece of a white card just to go inside the stitching line. And it is, let me tell you, just slightly under two inches by slightly under three and a quarter so um yeah so that is going to kind of fit on there i've got a white card blank again because like i said i've got a thing about using those at the moment and i've got the big stamp I've got the blends in the coordinating colours as well. So, I'm going to ink up the stamp. And obviously I'm using blends, so I've got the Memento ink. And I'm going to have to find a way to prop up my iPad without you having to see. Hang on. The bean bag. Let me just have a rearrange of my desk. Hold on. So I want to be able to see your comments without you having to see the bean bag. So let's see. Does that work? That's a very interesting message you just put on there, Judith. Did you mean to press all those letters? <laughs> Right, you still got to see the bean bag, but that's okay. That's a bit further out. 
let's let's try that okay right i need to re-ink this so i know that the whole thing won't fit on here and that is okay So what I'm going to do is use the blends and colour in the leaves and what I'm going to do is do a little bit of the light, a little bit of the dark and then I'll blend the two together. Apparently that was Judith's cat. <laughs> They're so funny, aren't they, our, our, our animals? They are funny. They keep us on our toes and press buttons. Oh, talking of cats. I don't want you to think I spend my whole life on Facebook because I don't. But, <laughs> but I saw on Facebook a macrame cat bed. So if you can imagine, oh, I know, hang on. Let me just get, I'm just, just doing a bit of color on those stems. Let me show you what's in the catalog. So in May, June, July, in July, we are using Bloom Where You're Planted page. 80 so yeah so in may june july in july we're using this product suite in craft along and it's really funky i'm really pleased with it um and so here this is what i want to show you so this 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 macrame type hanging planter can you see what i mean and somebody had got a cushion for a cat and made like a macrame hanging thing for the cat to kind of be suspended it was really cool not that i've got a cat but it was very cool i've never seen anything like that before okay <laughs> getting distracted with macrame i'm not going to start macrame um Oh, I ought to give you, so since we talk about other crafts, I ought to give you an update on my crochet. I haven't crocheted for about three months until last weekend. And last weekend I picked it up and I thought, I'm not even sure that I know how to crochet anymore. Because I hadn't done any for such a long time. But I did, so I did about four rows on my cardigan. And I fathomed that if I did that many rows a week, then I will have finished my cardigan by Christmas. So I need to get a move on really. But we've been we've been decorating as you know. So, you know, there is only so much time in a day to do the things that you want to do all right so there we go so that was a little bit of therapeutic coloring in a cat's cradle <laughs> yeah that's a perfect name for it right so let's get my combo this is again this is just such a simple card but you don't need always lots of fancy stuff so this is going to go on the front i need some dimensional pads let me just Stamp that. Thank you for everything. There we go. 
So where are my dimensional pads? Ah, buried. There we go. So, are we colouring in people or not colouring in people? That's one of the things I always ask because it's good to know. Good to know. There we go. So that is there. And there you go. There is a finished card. Nice and flat. So Judith just said she always worries stamping directly onto the card in case you mess it up. I understand that um, and I know that if it's wonky and that isn't entirely straight to be fair and the gluing isn't entirely straight either if I'm looking at it. Let me just straighten that up slightly. Um, but you can always if, it, if you mess it up, you can always just stamp it onto another piece of card and punch it out and layer it over the top. Um, or put like a little banner over it, that sort of thing. So, <laughs> Anne saying no. Is that no, no, no colouring in, Anne? Um, Ros loves colouring in, Marion does, Jan does, Margaret does, Sue does, Angela paints in lots and Chris doesn't colour in very very much. So if you're not a fan of colouring in but you don't mind cutting out, you could stamp these flowers onto coloured card and then cut them out and pop them over the top so you know if you don't fancy coloring it you could do that um and karen's saying that she rarely colors in either <laughs> and is very very sure she does not want to do any coloring in okay so the next few cards you might like better than this one, which is colouring in. <laughs> okay, so that's card number one. Let me just get the stuff cleaned and the stuff put away. Because honestly, I cleared up this morning and it was such a mess in here. And the thing is, because now... I have this studio I can just shut the door and kind of pretend it's not happening it's just you know I can kind of pretend that that it's not you know there's, there's no mess which is not very helpful because then when I go looking for things I can't find stuff so right so we're going now with Fresh Freesia and I've done a side opening card. So sometimes we have a card blank and we turn it this way, don't we, and open it up like that. But sometimes when you put your card on the table, it kind of does that. And it's just really annoying. Um, if you use your bone folder like I've just done there and reinforce the score line, it will stand better. That does make a difference. But better still, if you cut your cardstock this way round with the score line on the short side, you'll still get that landscape size effect but it stands better so give that a go so it's the same measurements 
um, but it, it just makes it easier. Okay, so what have we got? Oh, look, got the pretty ribbon. That's Fresh Freezer ribbon. I've got lots of stamps and oh, all sorts of things, honestly. So many things in my little basket. Right. So, where did my punch go? So when you are using the punch, have I got, when you're using the punch, you can obviously just punch out the flowers as they are and the leaves as they are, obviously not necessarily blue leaves but you can then get the flowers and you can layer them up just with the punch okay but what you may well want to do is stamp and punch and if you want to do that let me just get this stamp so if you get a block so you're going to get your stamp and i'm going to ink it ooh, ink it up in rich razzleberry and I just want to draw your attention to the flower. The flower is symmetrical. It is the same on all four sides. And I appreciate it probably doesn't look like it is, but it is. Um, so if you want to punch out just one flower like that, Get a strip of cardstock and feed it in, <laughs> whichever way around you need to feed it in. So let's try that again. <laughs> so instead of just stamping it randomly like that, look at how that is in the punch and it's kind of across, a, uh, yeah, a, um, yeah across so stamp it the same way as the punch like that and then pop it in line it up and you can punch it okay so for that is just if you want one flower if you want to stamp and punch everything all at once you can do that so the way that you will do that is you'll get a block and you will get a piece of cardstock and all i've done is i have put the cardstock into the punch and punched it and then i've turned it over and written on it this side up okay so when you punch it it's that way you turn it over and you write this side up and then you get your acrylic block and your stamps and you are going to line up your stamps to match this so I've done part of it already so there are several ways that you can do it you can go from the underneath so you can pop it down and position that on and then this last one you've just got to position it 
just kind of hold it there line up your other your other bits line up your leaves so everything is lined up that flower isn't quite so we've got to move that up a little bit move that over so i'll we'll just move that flower up a little bit more like that so press it down and so then all of your stamps are in the right place for the punch in theory you might have to tweak it a slight bit so let me show you so i'm going to ink this up stamp it down get my punch and line it up slightly tweak it Ooh. you can see that that leaf is just not quite there there we go and that gives you all of your stamped images all at once now the other way of putting it onto your block is less fiddly i think and i think it it works better so let me show you because it might be that you just want to do your two leaves or your just your two flowers you can tell these are brand new stamps because they're really sticky on the block so if you're working in reverse this is the side up that you want if you flip it over you can actually drop these into the holes made by the punch so you have to kind of wiggle it about a bit so that's that one and this one and sometimes you might need to trim a little bit of the rubber off if that is too much but i'm just going to flip it over and show you so what you're actually doing is you're dropping them into the holes they're just so sticky at the moment so that is ooh, in there And to drop that one in it's just sticking to my fingers and then that one and then finally that one I'm going to kind of put my fingers on there and just double check like that now it's stuck to my fingers oh dear okay honestly you can do it this way it does work this way i promise right so i'm going to pop those two flowers on first and check okay so they are definitely in the right place okay now i'm going to do the leaves and it's just easier now because what's happening is they're not going to stick to the flowers there we go so that's that way around can hear you shouting going for goodness sake Amanda what are you doing let's just check yeah you see it is a little bit of a challenge but done let's try it again <laughs> 
because you know there's one thing me actually doing it it's another thing entirely proving that it actually does it <laughs> right there we go look that's so much better than the first one there you go look how cool that is okay so you can do it that way um to be honest i do it that way sometimes but mostly i cut strips so that's so you know that's what i do mainly right so where is my little pattern okay so what i am going to do is i'm stamping let me clean this off i'm actually just stamping the flowers so again with this flower i'm just checking which what orientation it is on the punch and i'm going to stamp three of those and this is shimmery white card and i'm just going to punch that out and don't um don't lose your other little pieces um your extra leaves because you can color those in later or put your stamps over them so that's three of those and then i'm going to do three of the little flowers And again that's sort of on a cross so we'll do three of those all right now let's go this way so slide it along and it depends which which way Ooh, got bits everywhere um just just so you're being most frugal with your cardstock as to how you punch it so there are my three flowers now i've got a blender pen which is um these come um, in a pack of three and they have a liquid in that means that they blend water-based ink and you will find that if you just go over the sort of stamped lines you will be able to drag a little bit of the color out so I'm just doing that a little bit with the centers of these because these are actually going to go in the center of the flowers and then with these ones I'm going to use a fresh freesia and let me just get some ink on the lid and i'll just clean my brush a little bit and i'll just pick up a little bit of ink from there just take it from the lid don't take it from the um foam block because you'll end up with little white spots and then i'm just going to color in a little bit on these outer petals um just just to sort of again it's a suggestion of color so the more that you kind of blend with that pen the paler it will be And 
obviously you can you can um, use lots of different colors and so on with this so um, you know you can get two-toned flowers and flowers with different colored tips and different shading and all sorts okay so that's all my flowers so i'm going to get my foam pad my flowers and my take your pick tool and i'm hoping that buried in my pot here hmm no, it's not there. There is an adapter for the take your pick tool, which is the ball tool, which for some reason isn't in that pot. But your ball tool on your scoring board will work just as well. So, let me get that. And I'm just going to use the fat end and just press in the center of the flower so just do circles go round 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 and you'll see it will just start to curve it up and it will just give you a bit of movement and a bit of dimension And then I'm actually going to use glue dots to layer these up. I am going to put dimensional pads on them as they go onto the card. Um, so that will just layer those. Sue says that's the way she does most of her colouring using the blender pen. Yeah. It's just, it's such a forgiving way of colouring in. So, let me just put these oval round in the centre. These opal rounds um, are in the annual catalogue, so they were they're in the spring-summer catalogue. And they are very much like opals but that they have flashes of color so it depends how the camera's picking this up but there's flashes of green and blue and a purpley pink color um so th they tend to pick up quite a lot of the color that's that's on the the project so let's let's gather all my bits together so i've got my little flowers which sentiment i'm using many thanks from all of us and i'm going straight onto the card again judith don't watch <gasps> you'll be fine and then i've got these little squares and I hadn't decided which size I was going to use. Yeah. So I'm going to use that smaller size. But they need a little bit of white underneath them. So I'm using the shimmery white again. She says somewhere. No, that's actual white. Yeah, that's shimmery white. <laughs> now I think that is one and three quarter inches. Let's have a look. That's one and a half. So these little squares need to be one and three quarter inches. And the the fab thing about shimmery white cardstock 
is it's not white and it's not vanilla it's kind of a halfway house and the 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 reality of that means that you can put it with either um and it will look nice so let me just let me just show you this so this is going to go on like that and then it's going to go on the front okay so let's get this all layered up So whilst I'm doing that, do let me know um, if the sound and video and stuff, if those gremlins from earlier have sorted themselves out. I know some people said that they were going to um, go and, and watch the replay later. But do let me know. Um, all of the products I'm using are available in my online store to purchase if you um if you're on youtube or my blog or um facebook there are clickable links and you can go to the online store if um i forgot what i was saying because i'm looking for my phone pads hang on <laughs> there they are right so yeah there are clickable links um of all the products but obviously there's so many more products so you can um check them out on on the on the on my shopping page so my website is www.inspiringinking.com and if you go there then there's like a shop now button and remember to check when you're shopping that my little smiley face is in the top left hand corner and it says you are shopping with Amanda Fowler um, and always make sure that you've got the host code and that you're using the host code I've actually that's too raised I don't like that just talk amongst yourselves while I redo that So, okay, so um, yeah, I, I've got like a little photo tutorial that I'm going to put on my blog um, either over the weekend or, on, or at the beginning of the week next week to give you some sort of photo, photo um, images so that you can see exactly what it is that you need to do to um to put the host code on right i'm just going to finish popping these down and then check the messages but i've seen some out the corner of my eye and i'm slightly concerned that the freezing issue has not gone away you just lift to that and move it along a little bit come on finished right so let's have a look margaret's favorite colors lots of people are saying the gremlins have gone and lots of people are still having problems with freezing the picture isn't as clear as usual not sure why says karen tiny freeze spots occasional freezing here says sally stuttering all the way through says janet so i've got hiccups oh no oh i don't know what is going on so i can tell you what i can see 
and I can see the streaming is all steady and all my lines are all steady so I don't know I don't know I think sometimes it's and it's not everybody so I think it does depend as well on your internet so ugh. it's going to be one of those things forever that's going to be a gremlin okay so that is a card number two just move that around a tad there we go um so i've got one more card to show you is the flower on the left meant to be a different rotation <laughs> no <laughs> it's not janet <laughs> oh dear right hang on no you see they all need to be slightly offset so let's let's twiddle there we go is that better yeah <laughs> that's better thanks janet okay so card number two right so third card third and final card Da, da, da. Any guesses what colour it is? Whilst I'm tidying up, tell me. Tell me what colour you think I might be doing the last card. Bet you can't guess. <laughs> let's see let's see if anyone's guessed <laughs> whilst i just clean the stamps as otherwise you know what's going to happen i'm going to get pink on stuff well one two three four five six seven eight nine ten people all saying blue <laughs> blue says joanne yeah blue 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 of course it's blue why would it be any other color but blue and actually night of navy it was almost misty moonlight which kind of is my favorite blue of the moment and i forced myself to use a different blue and balmy blue now I wanted to call balmy blue bashful blue how many of you have been with me since the beginning bashful blue was one of the first blues we ever had when we launched stamping up nearly 14 years ago here in the UK um, and I still call this balmy blue bashful blue so let's have a look Ooh. so we have got another one of the scallop edges can you tell these are my favorite and i've also got this lovely um a white layer and i've got my night of navy ink pad my grid paper back out so we're going back to the original large flower and I am going to offset it on purpose okay so instead of actually putting it down the center I'm offsetting it because I want to put my happy birthday on it so I'm using art gallery again with the, the happy birthdays because my other new happy birthdays haven't come yet 
so that then this happy birthday can go on here and I'm going to try and be clever which we know will go horribly wrong and put yeah no I don't like that at all that's not working okay so <laughs> So Judith, you know when you said when you said what you're gonna do when you've stamped it and you don't like it. So this is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna fix it. I'm gonna stamp it onto. I oh know it needs to be further over than that. Hang on. Onto a piece of not bashful blue balmy blue and we're going to cut it into a little flag i could flip it over i say this often don't i that cardstock has two sides it has the emergency side but night of navy is so dark you'd be able to see it through so that's not going to work but this will once I've made it straight so let's just <laughs> straighten it up so that's going to go on there trim that a little bit trim that a little bit so I'm just going to make a little flag end by cutting a V in that end there we go I'm going to curve it up a little bit and then put some glue on it and hide hide the mistake or the I'm not happy with that bit just like that and nobody will ever know okay so what I'm going to do now is just color in the leaves with my soft succulent blend and although this is night of navy this is the dye based ink if I'm quick I can use the blends and it will it will work yeah just make sure you you're just not going over and over it um and it, it won't bleed out so that will work So Kay's here. Hello Kay from Riverton in Illinois. That's fab. Hi Kay. Um, so now we've got two options. Because so many of you have said that you're really not fans of colouring in, we can stamp the flowers again like that and cut them out. And just pop those over the top or what we can do which is what I'm going to do now is stamp a couple stamp and punch out a couple of flowers and use those instead so just do that one first so what I'm actually going to do is use my paper snips and cut these like so and then I'm going to cut that one just cut that 
around a little bit and we're going to pop that there over the top and you can if you're <laughs> if your punching is a bit wonky like mine clearly was you can just trim it a little bit closer to that edge it does depend on whether or not you like fussy cutting so I'm just going to curve that up and I'm going to use a glue dot to kind of pin them together um, it's just slightly easier so that's going to be for that flower just there so I can pop that down so basically what you're doing is you are making a new flower so I'm just going to bring in one of these little gems that I showed you yesterday. Ooh. And just put that at the base, like so. So then for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to bring the petals in really close. So I'm actually going to kind of cut all three petals um together and kind of lay them one on top of the other so that's one petal because if you look at this flower it's it's much closer so you've got one two just trim that down a little bit and then trim this one down as well now the brilliant thing with using these little gems is it makes it kind of look like it's the all your botanists and biology people you'll know the the bit of the flower that kind of holds the petals in I don't know what that's called somebody will know I'm sure let me just use a bit of Tombow to squish that in get them on. So there you go. So that's a much smaller. So let's just pull that up. Right, so those petals, we, we need a couple of bigger petals behind that as well. So let's just stamp and punch a couple of bigger ones. <laughs> lots of oohs and i like this <laughs> it's good good the thing is um we often don't think we need something and then you just see something and you think oh yeah i do actually i do need it so let's just pull that out and that one so we're just going to build this flower up a little bit more because you can see that the petals are quite long so we're just going to get another two there and just pop those behind and that will cover that area and then we'll see how many flowers we need for the other one so let's pop that one right so that's that one and that one Ooh, okay so looking at that we might not need the little ones we might get away with just the big ones oh okay so let's just pull the big one up so that's three big ones is working better
for that one. Let's just put that behind. Do, do, do. Right, I'm just pulling those in a little bit so it's not quite as wide. Yeah, there we go. That's working. So that's covering over there. And we need a little green gem to pin that down. And then this one is definitely going to be the three, uh, three of the bigger petals, if you look. Yeah. So again, we'll go with two because that's kind of the original width of it. And then we'll just take one more and pop that over the front. So let's just check. Yeah. More glue dots. Hi, Lynn. Thanks for popping in. How are you doing, my lovely? How's your lovely family? So that one is just going down there. Get another gem. Pop that on the top. Ta -da! <laughs> now I know that was a bit fiddly, wasn't it? Um, but so cool. So cool to be able to, to change the way it looks. And that is going to go on there just like so. We'd put that on the front of the card. And again, a simple, elegant card, but very pretty. And then I did talk about this lovely stamp earlier. And just by just adding a little tiny bit of embellishment to the inside of the card, just always lifts it. And, and I always put an inner and in, a, in my cards anyway, um, but particularly when you've got a dark coloured card, it's just really important. Because, you know, what's the point of a card if you're not going to write in it? It's what you need to do, you need to write in your cards. So, let's, let's see if we can move the chaos. <laughs> so nobody can see all the mess I've made. You know I've made a mess. You absolutely know I've made a mess. So it's fine. <laughs> so let me just kind of scooch everything out of the way a little bit. And put my cards down. So you can see them all. got to deal with this bean bag there you go so let's see see what do we think of the, the cards then so again completely different colors um different styles obviously i've just used one stamp set um, apart from that happy birthday, which is from the art gallery. But you've got different ways of using the punches. You can colour in, you can you can uh, fussy cut or punched out. All sorts of different different things that you can do. So yeah, so it's very exciting. Um, so 
this is actually the last one of catalog launch um i will be going back to my normal <laughs> normal tuesday craft and chat at 2 p.m on facebook live i will be back doing more youtube videos as well um i've obviously been sorting out all my technical issues um now i've got all of that sorted out then you'll be seeing a lot more videos from me as well you can find me over on my blog which is www.inspiringinkin.com you can subscribe there for newsletter updates you can uh, follow me here on facebook you can subscribe over on youtube and then you'll get to know when i've got some more videos out as well so there are lots of ways that you can connect with me so do you have any questions um any new products that you are interested in seeing um from the new catalog um i have had shipping notices for my um pre-order stuff so quite a lot of that is on its way um hopefully soon so let's have a have a look oh thank you for your kind words about my cards um have i tried the new pastels yet says ros no i haven't ros but they are on their way I am excited about the pastels um, so yes so that's that's gonna be a bit of a bit of a fun learning experience for me we have had pastels and chalk no we've had chalks before um, we've not had what I would consider true artist pastels before so I am looking forward to playing with those and doing lots of different techniques which is good thank you so much sally and Anne and sue <laughs> sue saying mess is good yeah it is means i've had some fun um i'm so pleased that you've you've loved that <laughs> janet says i'll be able to breathe a sigh of relief for a while well do you know what janet i've i have booked myself in this afternoon i'm <laughs> i'm going to have a facial <laughs> I decided this week it's launch week's always crazy busy and I decided that I would just book myself in for a little bit of me time this afternoon so that's where I'm heading off to so when you see me next week my skin will be glowing which will be awesome um but I still when you see me next week I still won't have had a haircut my haircut's not booked until a week today and it's getting crazy long it's driving me mad but i don't let brian at it with the scissors because <laughs> because then the hairdresser won't have anything to cut when when you know to put it back into its style so yeah i'm having to kind of try and tame it with hairspray and stuff um lots of things can i repeat the size of the little white rectangle yes janet i can so these two obviously are different sizes so this one is a tiny bit less than two inches by a tiny bit less than three and a quarter so what i would say is try two inches by three and a quarter let me write it down just in case the sound is glitchy so tiny bit less than two and a quarter inches but uh, no two inches by three and a quarter inches so that's that one <laughs> and then this one is two and a half so two and a half inches by
three and three quarter inches plus a tiny bit <laughs> so it's yeah it's tricky 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 yeah i wonder if it's easier in centimeters no not really no does that help janet let me know let me know let me know oh deborah's saying expressions in ink bundle yeah absolutely that will be coming um a lot <laughs> everyone who's going to be sick of the sight of it um yeah so that uh, as soon as that's in my hands we will be playing with that on the um crafting chat definitely well deserved treat oh no sally's just had a haircut she went to a new lady because her normal hairdresser wasn't wasn't very well and it was a mistake i think she must be a barber not a hairdresser oh no sally it's always the worst thing isn't it when you go to a new hairdresser and they 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 kind of they don't get what you want oh hooray jan second covid jab awesome so there we go right well i am off then i will see you all next week have a great week um and enjoy the weekend um i don't know what we're doing this weekend um i haven't we haven't we haven't had that that chat yet i'm kind of hoping nothing because <laughs> i think we both need to put our feet up but we'll see we can never sit still for long that's the problem and then you start doing one thing and it leads to something else right i'm going i am going now so take care of yourselves i will see you all next week back here live thank you so much for joining me um i love hanging out with you guys so take care see you soon goodbye